Hey, this is Sugar Hill, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here in Manchester for this Saturday night's huge show at the AO Arena, and I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Hugh Fury. Huey, good afternoon, brother. How are you doing? Not too bad, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you very much for asking. Um, before we talk a bit about yourself, let's just talk about your stable mate, Savannah Marshall. Um, she's got a chance to make history on Saturday night. She's coming off the back of a loss against uh, Clarissa Shields last year, but it's a chance to go a step ahead in terms of becoming the undisputed champion at super middleweight. What's different about Savannah going into this fight than the one that fought Clarissa last year? Savannah's hungry, and as well, she's learned a lot from the last fight. And I think you come and see something special on this uh, fight. She's a rectified. I think she's a different fight altogether. I'm looking forward um, to the girl's a good girl who's fighting, obviously undisputed. So it'll be an interesting fight, but I believe um, Savannah Marshall will uh, put on a show. And obviously you work closely with Savannah. Um, you both come from the same gym. You're trained by your father. Um, what's she been doing differently in the gym? What have you seen differently about her that makes you confident that she does put on a show and walk away with all the gold on Saturday night? Everything. She looks bigger, sharper, stronger. And I think she's going to get a devastating knockout. I mean, uh, Franchin's a very... Uh, she's definitely confident of uh, leaving with all the belts on Saturday night. I watched the uh, gloves are off last night. Savannah seems very, very calm, but is it a fair to say that that calmness is going to turn into chaos on Saturday night? And do you expect her to perhaps maybe end the, end the fight inside the distance? Yeah, 100%. Listen, you can't underestimate... Um, I can't underestimate the girl, but Savannah is she's very calm, relaxed, and I believe she will make a statement. Women's boxing is thriving right now, and Savannah, like I said, has got the chance to make history on Saturday night. She's going up in weight to super middleweight. If she does come through on Saturday night, what else uh, is out there for Savannah? What else do you think she's capable of achieving, Huey? I think there's only one more fight out there for her, is uh, the Carissa Shield rematch. And I believe if she gets through this one, and that's the only fight early, what should happen again? OK, let's move on. It's been a while since we've last seen you in the ring. Um, that fight with Michael Hunter fell through due to an injury to yourself. Firstly, how are you? You know, are you back in the gym now? Is everything 100% clear? Are you good to go to fight again? Yeah, good to go now. Been back in training. Uh, I'm looking forward to being back out there. I've been through Alan back, um, through uh, illnesses and stuff. So all that's behind me now. And I'm, I'm ready now to make a statement back in this heavyweight division. I think you're part of an exciting heavyweight division. Obviously, that's a lot of people are talking about the heavyweight division right now. There's a lot of negativity surrounding it because we're not getting the big fights. But before we talk about that, your last fight was scheduled to be against Michael Hunter, who's done a lot of talking on social media. Is that the fight that you'd like to go back into? Is it perhaps someone else out there that you'd like to take on? The main thing is get back in the ring. Obviously, I've been out for two years now. So I want to just shake the cobwebs off and then I want these big fights. One of the most exciting things is, I mean, obviously worldwide there's big fights, but domestically there's big fights as well. What is it that you want, Peter? Is it domestic fights or are you looking at sort of the world elite level fighters right now? I want to be world elite and I believe I'm world elite. So I want these big fights and uh, that's what I'm coming for. I'm not here, I've already been there at domestic level. I'm above that. So main thing now is I'm 100% and get back out there and uh, be one thing is world champion. There's good fights out there, obviously there's still the potential of you, Michael Hunter, perhaps rescheduling that fight. There's fighters like Andy Ruiz, there's so many big fights out there for you. I'm sure there's got to be one name that you'd love to get back in the ring, but is it a case of maybe dust off some cobwebs and then perhaps sort of throw yourself into the deep end, Peter? Uh, yeah, just uh, get the dust of webs off and then uh, get back in there. Whoever, I don't really care, like I say to you. It doesn't matter to me who's at the other side of the ring. As long as it gets me in position for a world title, that's all matters. As I said, that there's a lot of negativity surrounding the division right now because we're not seeing the undisputed fight between Tyson and Alexander Usyk. You know, there's talks of Anthony Joshua and Dinny White. Anthony Joshua and Dinny White, it is a fight that's hopefully going to get announced soon. What's your prediction for that rematch if it happens, Huey? Um, I think AJ does it, to be honest with you. I think he's, uh, Dylan White looks like he's dying out, to be fair. Again, another fight that we're hoping to get announced at some point. Daniel Dubois, Alexander Usyk. A lot of people that I've spoken to believe that Alexander Usyk would be a class above for him. But Daniel Dubois does have the power to stop any heavyweight in the division right now. What chance do you give Daniel Dubois going into that fight with Usyk, uh, Huey? Heavyweight boxing, you've got one punch. Listen, that's all it takes. 
one punch can turn the fight around. So obviously he's got a chance there, but he is in with an elite fighter. What's the boxing? So he's got to be pretty careful. He's going to be outboxed. Tyson's a guy you know very well, fe fellow family member of yourself, but he's come under a lot of scrutiny now because people are sort of pushing the blame to him that these big fights are not happening. What do you take? What's your take on the whole Tyson Fury situation right now? And who do you think the likely opponent next is for Tyson? Listen, I wouldn't have a clue, but in uh, heavyweight boxing, there's a lot of politics involved. So it's not easy as just making the fight. There's always other things what gets in the way. So you can't really go off the fighter. It's all the, the stuff in between it. Huey, before I let you go, what's the message to the rest of the boxing world? And when can we perhaps see you back in the ring? Back out in uh, August. And uh, believe me, I'll be taking over. So thank you very much and God bless you all. Huey, Fury, a pleasure. Thank you for your time. No problem.